Jamaica's Natoya Gould scores massive world lead and national record. Gould rules. She is queen of the pack. Welcome back to the channel, people. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, let me say thank you for making it Peter Lloyd World. Now go ahead, please hit that subscribe button. When you do that, go ahead and hit the notification bell so you know when the next video drops. We drop a video at least once a day, every day here on Peter Lloyd World. Also, if you enjoy our content, please hit that like button. And finally, leave a comment. What are your thoughts about Jamaica's Natoya Gould? Listen, she, she winning right now. Yeah, she winning right now. People, she's on a tear. Natoya Gould started her 22, 2022 season with a bang, with a huge win at the Clemson Invitational in early January. Here are snippets of that race. Her time in the 1,000 meters was 2 minutes 41.2. Very, very impressive. But that was her opener. She was just getting warmed up. A few weeks later, in the Milrose Games held at the Armory in New York City, Gould came second to Aji West of the United States. Gould ran 2 minutes 0 0.0214 behind uh, Aji Wilson's winning time of 2 minutes 01.38 seconds. Now, I need to point out that Aj Wilson has not lost the 800 meters at the Armory in, I don't know, five, six, seven years maybe. So, I was impressed with Gould's run. And of course, she only continued. Here is her race at the Armory. Gould's second place run at the Milrose Games certainly impressed me. As I stated before, Aji Wilson had not lost that race in quite some time. And it is evident to me that Gould was simply getting stronger and stronger, faster and faster. There was no doubt in my mind. But Gould continued to improve, winning her next meet at the New Balance Grand Prix in New York State in a time, a world leading time of 1 minute 59.62, one of only two persons to dip below that two minutes, here she is in that world leading run.
Now, as impressive a win as the New Balance run was, Ghoul had more in store for us. The world ranked number two 800 meter runner, globally outdoors, had more in store and was setting us up for another remarkable treat. In her next race, she establishes another world leading time in the 800 meters. So impressive and a national indoor record for the island of Jamaica. That time, time that time is a very impressive 1 minute 58.46 seconds. Really impressive run, people. Really, really, really impressive run. This happened in 800 meters uh, in France. Now, now she took on the, the world champion Halima Nakai in that race and won clearly establishing herself as the queen of the pack. You see, ghoul rules. <laughs> Get it? Ghoul rules. <laughs> Here are highlights from that remarkable race where she set another world lead and the national 800 meter time for Jamaica Indoor. Now it's early days yet in the season. We are pretty much at the end of February. So these runs for Ghoul are tactical. She's trying to gauge her strength, her weaknesses, working on her technique, etc., speed, etc. And as I'm going to say, she's trying to redeem herself for not meddling in last year's 2020 Tokyo Olympics, which she should have. Um, meddled in but miscalculated and ran offing Moe's race which is a serious miscalculation but I am you know I'm I am impressed Ghoul is looking really well presently you know and I, I have to say it again that was a a truly impressive run and I believe her third time dipping below that two minute barrier over the 800 meters which is a huge deal, people. Now, in her very last race, which happened uh, in Birmingham over the weekend at the Mueller Indoor Grand Prix, she came third. Now, she came third behind the UK's Keely Hutchinson, who ran a national record, I think, of 1 minute 57.20. And, uh, and Bissett, who came second in a time of 1 minute... 59.46 ghoul again was sub or better stated she ran again below two minutes running third in a time of one minute 59.85 here is that race
to be honest, Hodgkinson was brilliant in that race. She ran an incredible indoor 800 meter um, national record, a personal best, excellent race. But I must also state that she had, of the two, fresher legs. Um, Gould had been, has been running pretty much every week nonstop, flying from here to there. And all of you must know that, that flying from the, the Jamaica, the United States, the United Kingdom, and then turning around to race in an 800 meter, you know, 800 meter, it takes your legs out. And she had just ran that world lead and national time a few days before. So if I am to be absolutely fair, I understand why we didn't see the best of Natalia. But still, she ran a sub, she ran a sub um, two minutes in that 800. Maybe, I think her fourth or fifth for the year so far, which is extremely impressive. I th think that sub was Hodgkinson's first for the year. So she has, and she still has that world leading time extremely impressive at this point she is the one to beat she's a queen of the pack um, and there's one thing that you all must understand that no athlete wins all their races it just doesn't happen um, not even you're saying bolt who we thought was unbeatable was beaten on several occasions so there you have it i would love to know your opinion is she the queen of the pack is ghoul ruling I, I believe she is. She's doing extremely well and I can only see things getting better. I believe she's determined to um, correct our mistake, her mistake from the Tokyo 2020 Olympics last year when she went out and she ran Young Offing Mode's race and not hers. Do not forget to hit that subscribe button so we can continue to grow here at Peter Lloyd World. Remember the goal now is 20,000 subs. We get it with your assistance. When you do that, go and hit the notification bell so you know when the next video drops. We drop a video once a day, every day here on Peter Lloyd World. Also, if you enjoy the content, hit the like button. Leave a comment. I really want to know your thoughts, kings and queens. And bless up.